We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Hello everyone, this is second video for endocrine system. During last hour, we were discussing about brief introduction, regulation and control of endocrine system. Today, we will start with classification of hormones that are basically Two types of hormones are there, lipid soluble and water soluble. Lipid soluble hormone includes steroid hormones, thyroid hormones, that is T3, T4 and calcitonin with nitric oxide. Water soluble includes amines, peptides, protein and eicosanoids. The endocrine glands and their hormones. Before proceeding to the, the individual hormones, one thing that all we should know about the endocrine glands and those tissues or systems, even taking secrete hormones, that is brain, digestive organ and the kidneys. Okay, first of all we will discuss pituitary gland. We used to call it as a master gland because as a being a gland it releases many secretions, I think more than 10. Other than secretions, they may have a regulatory role too. It means that it has secretions as well as control on other hormones which should be released from the individual glands. Pituitary gland is located at the base of the brain. It is roughly pea sized weighing approximately half a gram. The pituitary gland has been called the control center of the endocrine system. It is under the control of the hypothalamus. We will discuss it during control mechanism too. There are three parts or lobes. First posterior, second intermediate and third that is anterior. The intermediate lobe is thinner than the other two and is still being investigated. We do not have uh, much information about intermediate lobe. So we will discuss posterior and anterior pituitary gland and their secretions. Okay, control mechanism. As we know that hypothalamus is the higher center which regulates and governs the individual pituitary gland. It signs releasing hormones and inhibiting hormones. We can call it as a releasing factors as well as inhibiting factors too. Here we can say that hypothalamus have a direct control on both the lobes of pituitary gland that is anterior as well as in posterior. Here the major role belongs to the immune system as well as sorry not immune system that is nervous system that is neurons. Now we can see here that individual hormones released from the anterior lobe and posterior lobe. From anterior lobe, first one that is thyroid stimulating hormone that acts on the thyroid gland which releases thyroid hormones. 
Next is for adrenal gland that is adrenocortic hormone, this is growth hormone, follicular stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormones, prolactin. These are all first six that releases from anterior pituitary gland. In the cases of posterior, it releases oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone. Hormones of the anterior lobe, what we have already listed out. That is growth hormone or somatotropic hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone or thyrotropic hormone, adrenocortropic hormone, prolactin, gonadotropins, in that follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. In cases of posterior lobe, that is antidiuretic hormone, that is ADH and oxytocin. Okay, first today we will learn posterior pituitary gland and their secretions. The lobe that stores two hormones. See here, remember one thing. It does not form any or it does not produce any hormones. So that's why, remember that. It just stores basically two hormones because these two hormones that is antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin will be synthesized in hypothalamus and further it will be given or released to the posterior pituitary gland for the further need. The hormones are produced in the hypothalamus. Their release is also controlled by the hypothalamus which sends the necessary nerve messages to the posterior pituitary gland. The two hormones are antidiuretic hormone that is ADH and oxytocin. ADH controls the amount of water in body. So antidiuretic hormone has major role in regulating the amount of water. How exactly it will do? It acts or it by acting on the kidneys it regulates the amount of water they can be excreted or retained. Antidiuretic hormone prevents water from being excreted. So it minimizes the amount of water that is excreted with the help of kidneys. The hypothalamus is stimulated to send a message that is release antidiuretic hormone to the pituitary if blood volume decreases. In cases of blood volume increases, it refers to the inhibiting hormone or inhibiting factors. So there will be again inhibition of antidiuretic hormone so that the amount of water that can be excreted out from the body and the amount of blood that can be maintained. This could happen after severe bleeding or even if we lose a lot of fluid due to diarrhea or vomiting. See, antidiuretic hormone or we can call it as a vasopressin too. That vasopressin is basically polypeptide hormone. While coming to the blood vessels, generally it causes constriction of blood vessels giving rise to the increase in blood pressure and it even works on the retention of sodium and thus by looking on the sodium it reduces the amount of urine. Next one, oxytocin. It causes the contraction of the uterus which are necessary for childbirth. It is also responsible for the release of breast milk. It used to act on mammary glands which are present inside breast. Hence, the stimuli are factors like the pressure of the infant's head on the uterus or near the nipple during breastfeeding. The function in men is uncertain. Okay, so today we were we were discussing the types of hormone, that is pituitary gland, in that 
the general terms or the terminology that we have gone through the overall or briefly listed the hormones which are released from anterior pituitary gland as well as from the posterior pituitary gland and we have gone through the hormone that is released from posterior pituitary gland. Thank you.